Chapter 14 Time for a Holiday Later that night, Tom, Kamal and Angela were relaxing. They were sitting in Mr Pennington's flat in the consulate building. David Pennington was telling them what had happened. Julie came to see me here at the consulate, he explained. She told me about her conversation with Tom. Then I was convinced that Tom's story was true. I contacted the Turkish police again. After that, I tried to contact you, Tom. But you had left your hotel. We thought you'd gone back to England. No, smiled Tom. He looked at Angela. I had some urgent business here in Istanbul. They all laughed. How did they treat you in the villa? asked Tom. They treated me very well, replied Angela. When my virus was very bad, they took me to the doctor. But I was terribly worried on the Monday you were arriving in Istanbul. Dernier knew you were coming because I had told him earlier. And I knew he was going to send someone to follow you. I was terribly worried. They made a big mistake when they took you to the doctor, said Tom. If I had not seen you from the bus... Don't, said Angela. Don't even think about it. What about the car accident, said Kamal. How did they arrange that? I wonder whose body was in the burnt-out car. There was silence while they thought about that. The police will have to find that out, said Pennington finally. It was a very clever plan of Dernier's, said Tom. Very clever. Yes, agreed Pennington. And drug smugglers like Dernier can make millions of pounds. Well, it's over now, said Angela. She turned to Tom. Do you remember the letter I wrote to you, Tom? I said that life here in Istanbul is very interesting. I was right, wasn't I? They all laughed. Yes, said Tom. A little bit too interesting for me. After all this, do you know what I want? What? I want a really dull, uninteresting holiday in Istanbul.